Hello everybody, welcome back to another mid-journey tutorial. In this one, I'm going to show you all the prompt guides and all the prompts that you could ever need, in my opinion, to create amazing images and artwork using mid-journey. I'm not going to show you one guide. I'm going to show you four separate high-end tools that will help you get the styles and the look that you're going for. And the first one I want to start off with, with pardon me, is Andre Kovalev's mid journey styles library i'm going with this one because i really like the way it's laid out here's the website here but if we go down a little bit you're going to see some really cool stuff here in particular the mid journey ai reference styles he's got a very nice visual fast loading site here and it's got some great stuff as you can see here it's got genres movements techniques painters illustrators photographers you just name it they're all here architects filmmakers etc etc and if you want to look at them you can just dig in like this so i'm going to go into the techniques why not so i'm just going to go ahead and click on techniques like i did there and presto you're going to have four new uh, styles that they do daily styles so if you're looking for you know a new style or inspiration they've always got something showing and now take a look at this we're in developing or photographic photographic techniques and here we go we got old school like turn of the 19th century type styles all the way down to the latest digital techniques and if you look at this you got shooting double exposure hdr high dynamic range holography etc etc it just goes on and on and on thermograph actually i don't know that one and the beauty of it if you click on it it copies the prompt so if i was to go into discord i clicked on it and i would just go imagine and then i would say bulldog copy the prompt thermograph Whatever the prompt is, it will go ahead and create a thermograph of it. Awesome stuff. Drawing styles. It's just all here. It's all under V4 too. So if you're looking for a unique painter or a unique anything for that matter, chances are it's here. I will put a link in the description below. That said, if it is not here, I'm going to show you a second one here. And this is by Will Wolfkin. This is on GitHub and he has thousands and thousands of things as well again i'll put a link in the description below but here's his mid journey styles and keywords reference guide now he has a ton of stuff here but because it's on github it's not quite as attractively created but if you want to dig into it here's the link of course now i would just go down here and then i would look at the styles i look at comparison pages let's just stick at styles here and for you know for better or worse let's go with i don't know let's pick one randomly let's go with Geography and culture sounds like a Jeopardy question. And then when I click on that, you're going to see, you know, you're going to see these little drop down. You're going to see the arrows and then you can go and you can click on them. You say, OK, nation, American realism. That's a cool style. American style, Canadian style, Euro punk, Brazilian style, etc., etc. And if you're not into that, you can go back, click on something else. We can go with materials. So if you're looking for different materials, solids, liquids, etc. It's all here. Slime and putty. What the hell is this? Nickelodeon? Um, but yeah, you can go ahead and just dig in and go nuts with that. The third tool I want to show you is this one here. This one is Noonshot. And this is a visual builder. It's kind of like build your, not build a bear, but build your own prompt. And if I was to type in something like dog reading a book, I would then go down here and you'll see here that it's creating the prompt for me as I go. So I would click on something like, I don't know, artists. And when I click on that, I would create, oh, hey, I really like the art by Degas. So I click on Degas. You'll see here that when I click on this continue, Degas has been added to the prompt. If I want a different camera style, I want to use a DSLR style, I will just add that and it builds the prompt for me as I go. If I want a specific color palette, maybe I want to go in hot pink color. I don't know, whatever. I'm just going here, cruising through. Bang, I get that prompt, I copy the prompt, I just click that button. And again, there's a few other things you can look at here. There's lighting and styles and materials, etc. You'll get the point, but again, tons of stuff. Oh, look at that, Bulldog and Thermograph. How good is that, hey? But on the last one there, I just click copy prompt. I'm just gonna forward slash imagine, command V, and bang, there's the prompt. It's dog reading a book, DSLR, Edgar Degas, hot pink color, all weighted at one. Presto. So Noon Prompt is the other tool I wanted to show you. The next tool and the last tool, it's more manual, but it's very, very good. It's a spreadsheet, and I'm going to make this available to you as well. And then on this one, you can access all of these different things here. So at the bottom, we've got different characters. So you'll see here we have all these different artists that create characters and all these different styles. So if you really liked, I don't know, let's say you had a really, you really like this 
Santiago Caruso, you love his Plague Doctor style look here. You could just click on that and then it tells you up at the top here, uh, let's see where it is, prompt in the column header, character by, rough charcoal by, pencil sketch by, etc, etc. And all you got to do is just type that in to the mid journey. You'll also see here if you have a particular painting style, you can go through here and you get a nice visual look of all the different paintings. So if you're, you know, attracted to a specific style, you can look them up or her up. I like Tintoretto, so I would go, here it is, painting by Tintoretto or portrait of a woman by Tintoretto or whoever it might be. Peter Bruegel, the elder. Oh, yeah, Belgium. <laughs> uh, or no, that's Netherlands. Ah, whatever. Um, lots of great stuff there. So these are the four, uh, the best resource guides on the internet, in my opinion, for mid-journey. If you know of any others, please leave a comment below. I hope this video helped all you mid-journey prompt, you know, prompt engineers, budding <laughs> AI artists. Thanks for watching. Be back soon.